Hello everyone, and welcome back to a video. It is going to be called Painting My Laptop. Yeah, jumping on that trends train. Toot toot. That was really stupid. <laughs> anyway, so I am going to be painting my computer. Bless you, you are messing up my recording! <laughs> totally keeping that in. Anyway, so I am going to be painting my computer in, I think, five different parts. That's what I'm guessing. Right now I only still have part one done. But it's going to be a Mario and Luigi slash Super Mario slash Mario Mario. <laughs> Mario! We're doing Mario all over my laptop. Mario characters all over my laptop. Um, and as you can see here, I just... Um, drew them all out first and I do veto Toad because I don't like Toad. I think Toad is very ugly and boring. So I am um, doing a like a, I think it's an 8B pencil and I draw that on the back side of the paper and then I um, just trace over the lines so you can see them a little bit better. And here we are. So first I'm going to be painting Mario and Luigi in this one. As you can see Mario is hitting a block, which is that little, I think it says core something or other on it. Um, also, obviously, I love this black enamels paint by Folk Art. I'm only using Folk Art brand in this. Um, I only like Folk Art brand acrylic paints. I think they are really good. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to start painting, and really it's just layers upon layers is what this painting is because you are painting on a black surface, and it's a slick surface, so you have to get you know, a couple coats down before it even starts to really, like, get opaque. Um, so yeah, so it really just, it took a lot of layers. Um, that little box is going to become a question mark box, which I think is cool that Mario is jumping and hitting. Um, so this is just going to be the first part, is going to be these two. I think the next part is going to be the Peach and Daisy. And then we'll see where it goes from there. This did take a very long time. This is about four hours worth of, you know, video cut down to 20-25 minutes. Um, so it's really from here out until I'm ready to talk again. I'm just going to put on some music, but for the most part, you know, it's the same thing. Um, but I do really like how this came out. Mario's a little chonky. He's a little chunky. Chunky, chonky Mario. It happens. I'm over it. <laughs> now, don't go painting on your laptop just because I'm doing it. If you're a child, ask your parents permission. If you're an adult, do whatever the hell you want to. I don't care. <laughs> but just make sure you take, you know, proper precautions. Like I taped off, you know, the, the trackpad and the buttons just be very careful don't ruin your laptop because you decide to paint on it I don't know if paints can be on laptops I did it seems to be fine I mod podge it seems to be fine but still take your own precautions I did this just because I felt like it you know everyone's out there painting Teslas and phones and phone cases and sneakers and I'm painting my laptop so I hope you enjoy this. I will probably pop back when I'm painting Mario because I did have a couple problems painting Mario, so I shall be back.
And here we get to the problem child, also known as Mario, also known as the red enamels paint. Now, the enamel black paint coats everything in one coat. This red enamels paint by Folkart, I don't know what the hell happened. It just, it does not like to cover like it should. Um, I did try to put a little bit of white in there to make it a little bit more opaque. Did not help. Don't know why. But, yeah. For the most part, the red kind of sucked. And that one took, I think, like six or seven layers before it even became opaque, which was really annoying. Also, you can see that I have painted outside the lines of the little yellow box. But I take a little bit of alcohol, 90... 99, I think it is. 97. Might be 97% alcohol. Um, isopropyl alcohol. And rub around the box because it is a little bit, you know, popped up. It's like a little... It's like a thick sticker almost. So I just rub around it and get all that crap off the sides because it's very hard to paint a dark color light and, you know, not make everything look through it. So it took very like several coats of paint and I wasn't going to be monotonous in particular while it's being painted. So that's that. As you can see I did do it in a painterly style. The reason being is because the CGI, you know, Mario characters have no lines. They are just, you know, what do you want? They're 3D models. There's no lines. I don't know what else to say. That's what they are. <laughs> so I did do them in a painterly style. Mario's a little chonky, whatever, he's the short, fat plumber, it's okay, it's alright. I wouldn't even call him fat, he's thick, thick Mario, we'll go with that. So for the most part, after I finally got the 80th coat of red on and it became opaque, I go back to doing exactly what I did with Luigi, which is, you know, paint it the way it should be, painterly, painterly style. Um, and yeah, I don't know what went wrong with Mario. I don't know. I think it's his butt. Or maybe his leg. I don't know. But he's a little thick. It's okay. He's still beautiful. We still love him. I think next will be Peach and Daisy because I'm really feeling those two. I like Peach. I think I talked about this in my Rosalina. Um, I like Peach. Um, I like Daisy. I like Peach more. Even though I'm a hell of a lot more like Daisy. I'm crazy and hyper energetic not quiet but i still like peach more don't know why maybe it's her character design but i also love rosalina the most as you can see rosalina is not in this i may put her on the top of my laptop i don't know yet depends because my the top of my laptop is not flat it is rigid and would probably be very annoying to try to paint but i was trying to stick rosalina and lumo over where bowser is which is on the right side didn't work. She looked squished and weird, so I just put Bowser there. And on the other side is the characters. I think it's uh, Koopa, Shy Guy, Yoshi, and Boo. I should have put. Oh, I should have put Dry Bones. I like Dry Bones. Maybe I'll s switch out Ka uh, Koopa with Dry Bones because Dry Bones is pretty cool. And then on the top I have the Goomba, the Squid, the Bullet Bill. The Womp, the Thwomp, the other Bullet Bill, I don't know what the difference is, the difference is the Chomp, and the Bomb Bum. Do I have someone else? I might have someone else. I don't remember who. I can't see them. They've kind of got. oh, the fish. They've kind of gotten rubbed off. I do have to redraw them since then, I, I don't know, I painted this probably over a month ago, and I haven't touched it since because for some reason I lose speed. So, but I will be getting the peach to Peach and Daisy this week at some point, and I will get them out as soon as they're done. So, yeah. Um, as this is coming to a close, well, not yet, but as this is going to be coming to a close at some point here soon, I will let you enjoy the rest of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I had fun making it. They have held up since Mod Podging them. I think I did four or five coats. Um... I don't have any problem. They don't rub off. They haven't come off yet. Um, they still look pretty nice. And I use my computer every day to play video games, so my hand is always on top of them to be on WASD. 
and it's still holding strong so hopefully it stays like that so i really hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video bye